Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep It Active YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone had a brilliant Christmas break. I hope it was relaxing. Definitely was a lot more relaxing for myself. I think I definitely uh, caught up on some much needed rest. Uh, I feel like I was flagging near the end of the year, uh, but very much back to it. Now today I wanted to do a feature on Timestripe, which is a goal oriented planner. Wanted to do first impressions. This app weirded me out because I was still browsing product time during the holidays, found it. And what was quite interesting was it sort of focuses more on the 50 years uh, of your life. Like uh, it actually looks quite depressing to some extent in being able to see this data. Um, so I'm gonna do a review or sort of first impressions feature on this today, give you a guide around, share how and what I think about the app. Okay, so once you've actually got past the sign up, you have to add your date of birth. And naturally this is sort of like the precursor to the whole application. So obviously naturally, you'll want to add your date of birth to get the maximum out of the app. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, it's giving you a bit of an introduction to what the application is about and how far I've lived so far. And actually it looks like I've lived quite a bit, <laughs> but actually, to be fair, uh, it sort of gives you an idea of how far you are into your life. Pretty depressing to some extent. So they do have some onboarding. I watched a few of the videos. Um, it's got quite a cool concept called Horizons. We'll dive into that in a moment. So let's start out with the basics of this application. This is the homepage, it's called Horizons, and it has sort of five core areas. You have today, you have this week, month, year, and life. So what's cool is you can start adding tasks to them much like you would with other applications, and it's sort of like a dashboard for the day. And when you wanna go about moving, say a month or anything above, you can actually go ahead and plan the year after. So everything just shuffles across and you can see sort of the next year, the next month ahead. Now over on the far right hand side, you can actually go ahead and plan your life. If you enter a task, this appears on front of the screen with a title and notes and thoughts that you can add below. And you can use some of the markdown that they have there. So if you want to go more granularly, granularly into this application, you can go to week view and start planning much like you would inside of applications like to do feels very much like that columns application. You can do this for months, years, and what's quite nice is it gives a very holistic view of how to think and start planning ahead. So it looks like 2020 was my 26th year, 2021 will be 27 years. So we can start adding a few goals for that year and maybe plan the few years ahead. But I do feel this could be quite overwhelming for a lot of people that don't plan that because I guess it, to some extent, the planning that far in advance with this today's climate can be pretty difficult, especially when jobs and things like that are changing at rapid rates. So down here, you can actually add your own boards if you wanted to create a board with say restaurants you wanted to visit or movies you wanted to watch and just have the traditional board layout you can do as well. So you can add tags as well. So for example, if I set a goal uh, for the 28th year of my life. So it's a really nice design. So to start out, the design is really nice. As you can see here, you can hide the panel on the left hand side and just start typing away. There's not too much complication in this application. And if you're someone that needs some stability, the week, month and the year view can help you to plan ahead in a more effective fashion than applications that don't necessarily have a setup like this. So to my knowledge, this is only available through web at the moment. There's no iOS or Android applications. However, I think they do plan on adding this. So there is this thing called Climbs, which is up available in the top left-hand corner. And as you can see here, you can set or sort of take templates from their gallery they've got here. So for example, you could say no alcohol for 30 days and you could get started with a program here. So as you can see here, it actually starts populating your area based on the climbs that you've added. So that's a neat way to actually populate it without having to do some legwork. So as you can see here, I added one again, talk to at least one stranger. As you can see here, you can click into it and it gives you a bit more detail because it's part of what's climb, a call to a climb. You can see that you get these sort of goals to be completed, which is quite cool. So they're almost like, it's almost like a habit tracker built into this application. Now you can actually stop the climb and delete it if you want, so that would delete any of the ones in the past and any notes saved on it. Um, so that's quite handy. 
Now, you're probably wondering how much is this application, and it does have a free trial, so I'm currently on that plan. However, there is a pro, so I think you only get 30 days and then it becomes a paid application. So their first month amount is $20 per month, which is absolutely crazy, but they're really pushing you towards a 12 month one, which is five bucks per month, which is a pretty decent sort of, at what average sort of pricing for applications, maybe a little bit on the pricier side if you compare it up to applications uh, that are in the space right now. But you can actually get a pro and that gives you unlimited goals, boards, unlimited climbs and dark mode. I really like the way they did that little mode there. <laughs> So you're probably wondering what else is in the top left hand corner. You can actually see your calendar in this sort of view, which is quite cool. So if you want to reflect on stuff that's happened, you can flick this mode or you want future thinking. You can see all of your future tasks that are coming up, which I think is quite cool. And you can actually see what 2020 looks like from a granular view. And if I click in, you can see here that, uh, as you can imagine, all the dark ones have tasks on them, uh, but you can also see and skip ahead to a certain date and actually add a goal that far in advance. So really cool, um, and maybe I need to put my retirement down here, uh, somewhere around here, let's say July 13th, 2061, <laughs> retire. So what's cool is if you wanted to see like an uh, overview of your life, uh, I think this is actually something that Amir from Todoa shared. Like uh, I, it was an article about um, sort of long life and what a visualization of that life looks like. So you can see here that I'm about here. And what's cool is, uh, here you go. So if I hover over this one, say it's 2021, it gives you information about famous people and where they were. Um, pretty weird stuff. Um, you know, Jimi Hendrix choked to death on his own vomit. Christ, it's quite detailed in terms of what they give you. Um, 10 kilos, you can lose 10 kilos of weight by this time if you today begin to lose at a rate of two kilos per month. That's quite cool. And 900 pound, if you will have 900 extra dollars by this time, if you save $5 each day, plus about $129 if you quit if you quit smoking. So that's quite cool. It gives you like these really weird statistics on like stuff that you can do. I'm guessing it's picking that out because I added in smoking as something. Did I add a smoking? No, I didn't. I don't know why it brings out specifically, maybe just some interesting data. But quite a cool visualization. Uh, it's quite weird, but at the same time, it's quite interesting. Very strange. They've got this clock mode, so you can maybe keep this one up as you go. I don't really know how it works. I guess it's... Ah, uh, I see there. So it's the 29th of December, and it's sort of like keeping it there. And it gives you like, you are currently 26 years old with six months. And uh, it gives it the sort of fact. So over here, you've got insights of the day. So it says here, what if I, one thing you could do to start the day? What can you do with the week? So this helps you to plan the goal, and you can start basically coming back tomorrow to get insights from that. So I might do that and put that in a future video. Now, what's mental is they have this, their own merch store where you can actually buy sweaters. For example, this one, if you add your year of birth, you then get an overview of what's coming next. A little bit of a, I guess, morbid top to some extent, but something that I guess if you like sort of um, the app, then you could fall in love with their their sweatshirt line. So my final thoughts on this application, it's got some really cool abilities. I, I am actually fairly impressed with this app. At first glance, it was columns and another take on columns, but I really like the way they use horizons to help you plan in the future and definitely in the future. And I like all the other visualization views that you can see on your calendar. So if you're someone that's actually wanting to set goals in 2021, this could be quite a cool application for you, especially with some of the climb abilities has helped set up some healthy habits for you. This could be a good way in starting to embed that. Now, just take a note, do take the full free trial because this application probably will take some time to get used to. And also it's a little bit more of an investment than you'd expect. Um, there's not a low priced monthly like timeline. So that's something that you're not necessarily going to be able to jump into. Um, it's 20 bucks. So as you can imagine, the medium pricing, the, the yearly pricing is probably the best one to go for. 
based on you know your bang for your buck. Um, however, it is something that um, they obviously, but it's something obviously that you should take a good look at before you necessarily dive in. So before I go, I just wanted to point you towards subscribing to this YouTube channel. It'd be great to have you here in the community. We've got some exciting announcements coming up very soon, so I think you will be loving to stay around for that. Um, this application is pretty cool. I'll definitely link it in the description below. Again, it's something that's early days, so these are naturally my first impressions. Anyway, folks, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio!